And a lot of guys don't agree with me that are pretty smart guys. Sure. I'm not saying I'm always right, but I, I always like to take the uh, anti out of streetcar suspension sure. because. And one of my things is, you know, you look at prototypes and F1 cars and open wheelers, they don't have anti. Right, right. And it's they like, also don't have amateur drivers trying to drive them fast. Well, <laughs> I think the factories put anti-dive and anti-squat into their suspension geometry, so they don't have cars going like this under acceleration. Like Especially with the soft springs. Yeah, with soft run. springs yeah. and everything. yeah. Soft, soft street car springs and, and such. But, you know, like with much more sophisticated shocks, yeah. um, you know, you can control that platform movement. Right. And, right. Uh, you know, not have to have artificial coloration from the geometry. Right. Right. So the car will respond more purely to weight transfer and, and, and you can also get it dialed in more purely as well. Once you have the freedom with the, the, uh, the variables available to you inside the shock. That's why the, the, the thing next door doesn't have any any anti right. geometry. Which one day when we get this this foreign thing behind me actually running and driving, then we can transfer some of the uh, things to that one. So it runs and drives. It it does. It just likes to kick it out into neutral on occasion. Yeah, it throws a fit every now and then. Yeah, it just throws a fit. Got to turn it off. It's okay, baby. You're fine. Our squirrel.